Okay guys, today I'm gonna repair this powered speaker monitor that has no uh, left input. So when you're plugging the uh, RCA jack to the right and left, only right making sound and no sound from the left channel. I already replaced the TDA, the IC TDA seven two nine eight, but but still has a problem. So I'm gonna try to check all the component. So this is the main PCB for the speaker. We have a problem with the left channel input. It has no sound. So I'm gonna check the roots where it's going to. Set my multimeter to continuity test. So this is for the left channels. It is going to here and going to here. This is a, a resistors and going to here. This is a capacitors and capacitors going to this line. This ICs. There are two IC similar. Yes, it's, it is the same IC. So I'm going to replace this IC and let's see how it works. I have this uh, new IC here. It is a uh, It is a NGM4558 Pin number one, that's a the circle sign here, that's the leg number one. Let's put some plugs.
Okay, I already replaced this new IC. Okay, let's try this. Still no sound from a left channel. If I put it into the mixer, there's only a small signal here. This is connected to the uh, left speaker. This one. Very small sound. Okay, I already changed the IC and still the left channel is not making output sound. So I'm going to open it again to get further tests and check. Okay, let's get started. Okay, we get the signal now from the left uh, speaker. Okay, after several attempts to repair this speaker, I finally succeed to repair the speaker problem which is uh, there is no input and there is no output to the left speaker I already changed the op -M IC. this is a operational amplifier IC that is responsible to amplify the signal uh, and also I already replaced the N IC still doesn't work so I decided to check the neighbor component from the IC, especially the capacitors. And I make a simple drawing for this to make a note which uh, component I have checked. This is a good capacitors. And I found uh, several bad capacitors from the 220 microfarad 35 volt. So I replaced them all. Also, I replaced the, these two capacitors. This is a 47 microfarad, a 50 volt. If you have a multimeter like this, you can check the capacitors. This is the symbol for the capacitance and uh, ohm for the resistor check. This is for a capacitor check and switch to the capacitance. For example, I have the uh, one of the bad capacitor here. It is 220 microfarad, 35 volt. Uh, let's check the. This is negative side. I'm gonna check this. And it's only showing 202. It's supposed to be 220 microfarad. So this is a one of the bad capacitors that we need to replace so I already checked that all the 220 capacitors the reading is below 220 so I replace them all the 220 microfarad you need uh, one of this tester one of this uh, capacitance tester so you can measure which capacitor is bad or good and please remember you need to pull out the capacitor from the board to make a test please be careful for testing the big uh, capacitor like this or even bigger it still have uh, electricity inside so you need to empty these capacitors usually uh, I'm doing a make a leg short like this with uh, anything metal like a screwdriver or anything else Make a short negative and positive legs and pull out and then you're ready to make a test for a capacitor, especially the big one. Okay, we get the signal now from the left uh, speaker. This is the yellow cable is uh, from the left speaker. This is the left speaker output and this is the left speaker input. We have the signal now. Let's play. 
plug in the right speaker Thank mm -hmm. you.